as, uh, as Todd said, my name is Nadia Karatsorios. I am uh, the Director of Channel Development specifically for Datto Networking. Who's heard of Datto here before? All right, so everyone's heard of Datto. So I joined the team back in January, but uh, I'm not new to the industry. I've been around for over 10 years, more than I usually like to admit. Uh, both on the telecom side as well as the IT channel. The last five years I've spent specifically focusing on the MSP channel. Uh, I've been part of a lot of executive councils for CompTIA uh, and I've also been named on a couple of lists for CRN. So uh, happy to be in the industry. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. Now to go with our presentation. We called it Networking is a managed service. Are you not selling it that way? You should. Uh, for that exact purpose is the fact that it is a managed service. I want to show you how you can include it into your managed service offering today. There's a best practices here. There's some information about the actual solutions and products we sell. But if there's anything that I can't cover in the short time, we do have a booth and I'll make sure you know where we're at so we can continue this conversation afterwards. So to level set, let's talk about the market opportunity. Uh, the truth is, is there's devices galore. As I look around here, everybody's got one or two devices sitting on their tables, uh, probably another one back in their room. Um, and the truth is, is that's just continuing to grow. Uh, we're starting to see this now as managed service providers are starting to support uh, multifunctional devices. Uh, the coffee machines are now IoT. And this is supposed to continue to go. It looks a little frozen. But here you see a coffee maker that's uh, IoT as well as a thermostat. There we go. So those are all the things now that your customers are using and they're going to ask you to start supporting as they are connected devices. They want to make sure that their coffee is warm. They want to make sure that the AC is on when it's supposed to. Uh, so again, these are things that now your customers are going to start asking you about. So uh, an industry report told us last year that in 2018 they were expecting to see 11.2 billion devices connected worldwide. They also said in 2020, that's going to jump up to 20.4 billion. All right. And that's going to just tell us that now we have wearables, right? We have, again, those coffee makers and those thermostats. We're going to just continue to add more devices to the internet. Uh, we made a joke, and it's actually true, that now they have frying pans that are, are IoT, as well as kitchen sinks. So everything, including the kitchen sink, is connected to the internet. What does that mean? That means that there's going to be a lot of money spent on connecting things. Uh, again, this industry report tells us that that's almost going to reach $3 trillion by 2020. And by my calendar here, it tells me that 2020 is not too far away. So for most, if you do service SMBs, that means that they need to continue to invest in new technologies. Like I said, there's more and more things being updated and added to the internet. They need to invest in these types of things. Now that tells us that the network is mission critical because everything that surrounds, everything that needs to be done on a day-to-day -day basis, the center, the core is the network. So whether you're a bakery, whether you're a salon, a bank, no matter what industry you're in, if you're an SMB, you need to be up to date. You need to be uh, able to service your customers uh, and have their, them service their customers. But the truth is, many SMBs just don't have the knowledge or the experience to navigate this new landscape. It's scary for them. A lot of them will definitely turn to their MSP. That just tells us that opportunity is everywhere you look. As they start to add things, as the network becomes larger, you're going to be more and more critical to their business. So what is managed networking? That's the title. So let's go back and talk a little bit about Datto. Uh, I asked when I began who knew about Datto. For those that came, who knows, uh, who knows anything about Datto? Who's heard of Datto? All right, so even the newcomers have too. Excellent. So uh, Datto, our sole goal since day one has to build the best solutions for managed service providers. It's our only customer. Now, for those that put up their hand about Datto, probably know Datto as the business continuity and disaster recovery company that protects business data no matter where it lives. Right? That's what we've been known for all these years. Now the truth is, in order to continuously back up data, the network is even more important. And we realize this. And we noticed that a lot of the calls we were getting on our support team were about the network being down. And it was mostly because the network vendor just had little to no support for the MSP. So that got us thinking that, uh, this is Looking again. There we go. We learned that MSPs face numerous challenges when it comes to networking. And the truth is, is that MSPs today just don't have a good option when it comes to networking. 
So you're probably thinking, there are so many vendors in the networking space, what is she talking about? I can get APs, routers, switches, anywhere. So what's the problem? Why can't they support their MSPs? Well, the truth is, is networking today is just not built for MSPs. What do I mean by that? There's usually two buckets when it comes to networking solutions. There's those commodity vendors, which offer everything to everyone, and then there's those enterprise ones that usually means money is no object. But remember, we're dealing with SMBs here, so money is no object really doesn't fall there, and everything to everyone just doesn't sound too appealing. So let's break those two down. So if we look at the commodity space, that's built for mass adoption. The hardware is usually inexpensive. There's features for broad appeal, and it's widely distributed. You can find these things on Amazon or eBay. On the enterprise side, usually includes large enterprise budgets that cost lots and lots of money. They solve very unique tech challenges, and it's really built for internal use with single tenants, so not for the MSP space and require skilled full-time support staff. Again, something that's not really ideal for the MSP space. The MSPs kind of fall somewhere in the middle. So the commodity does offer that low-cost hardware, but usually that in turn means poor performance, which even worse means that there's limited support. So if something goes wrong, you have to send an email and hopefully you get an answer in time to get back to your customer. There's features for feature's sake and for it to work properly, you usually need to cobble a whole bunch of things together. On the enterprise side, great stuff, right? Everything's great, but it's single tenant management. One MSP can use that type of solution. It usually requires training and certification, which also equals time and money, something we just don't have. Complex licensing and renewals. I talk to so many partners of ours that have spreadsheets uh, that they take days and days to go through to make sure that they can uh, properly renew their own customers. And at the end of the day, it's just expensive. What do MSPs need? They need the best of both worlds. They need everything we just talked about without all the headaches and hassles. What do they need? They need MSP-friendly pricing because they need to work it into their managed service offering. They need cloud management because, hey, it's 2018, everybody needs cloud management. They need capable hardware because they need to know that they're putting their brand, their name on something, that it's gonna work well. It needs to be fully integrated and needs to have 24-7, 365 support. As you know, you can service so many different industries that need you to be on time, all the time, and being able to help. And of course, we're all in business to make margin. So we launched Datto Networking, and simply put, Datto Networking is the most MSP-centric networking product line in the world. Everything we do, we're literally obsessed about the MSP. So everything we do is built around making you successful and making you uh, grow your business in all different types of ways. So that's when we launched Datto Networking about a year and a half ago. And the products look something like this. We have access points, switches, appliances, which is a router with LTE failover, meaning that you'll always be on. We'd love to show you more about this one. The really distinct feature is that we take care of the contracts for you and no overages. We also have cloud management, because as I said, it's 2018, everybody needs to be in the cloud. And Manage Power, which we released back in the spring, uh, which is our newest product, and I'd love to show you more about that over at the booth. So our product line is built for MSP and aligned for managed services. What does that mean? That means there's a low upfront cost. There's simple monthly billing, which allows you to build it again into your managed services program. No commitments, no contracts. So those spreadsheets that you have to keep or that uncomfortable renewal conversation you have to have in the middle of your usual contract with your MSP no longer exists. Just plug it in and install. Makes your life much easier. 365, 24-7 support. Again, depending on which type of industries you do support, you may need to be on call 24-7. You need to have your vendor support you that way. And lifetime warranties on all access point switches and managed power devices. No more worrying that things are going to go down in a year or two and you need to uh, refresh the hardware. We take care of that for you, again, with that 24-7, 365 support and lifetime warranty. Okay, so I told you I was gonna help you include this into your managed services program. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna tell you how to position and sell managed networking. Sell the solution, not the product. The worst thing that happens is I'll talk to a partner that says, my customers love blank vendor. 
your customers don't need to know which vendor you're using. They need to understand that the solution means that they're going to have internet all the time when they need it. That's the key. And that's one of the best practices that we hear from the most successful MSPs out there. So we talked about selling managed networking service can be challenging without data networking. Why? So if you're in that enterprise bucket, we talked about it being expensive and there's the annual licensing and it's just super complex. Commodity, the way they do sell it, makes it hard to make money. There's that limited support, the limited warranty. There's a limited market differentiation because they can literally Google that product name and find it on Amazon for a lot less than you'd probably sell it for. So it's hard to include it in a managed service offering. With data networking, you get that MSP-friendly pricing, intuitive management, lifetime warranties, that support that I've talked about so much. Uh, there's drinks there, so we could probably make it into a drinking game because I'm going to talk about being passionate about the MSPs and our supports. Um, we really want to help you uh, get those programs up and running. So the lower upfront cost when you do make the decision to go with data networking means that you have more opportunities to make money. The client relationship is with you and not the product, not with Datto. Managed networking creates stickiness with your clients because you are that core. You're that middle of the business. Everything they need in order to run their business runs through the networks. That means that uh, equates to your relationship. And it allows it to be ultimately your own company. Your brand is stronger because it's always running and it's always working. So I'm going to go through a couple of uh, best practices as quickly as possible. And these came directly from our most successful partners selling managed networking. You want to curb any tendency that the customer may have to lead with a specific brand. So as I said earlier, when they say, I really like blank brand for our networks, that's not it. It needs to be your company, your name. Set the expectation that you, the MSP, are the expert they ask to provide technical expertise. They came to you or you're going to them as the expert. So they need to listen to your expert advice. Make networking a managed service offering. Make it part of your program. Uh, if anybody does anything a la carte, don't make this an option. Make this something that they must use in order to use your services. If they don't want managed networking, they cannot be a client. That verbatim came from one of our partners. When managed networking is a standard part of your offering, you'll drive more value than your competition. Not a lot of people are doing that today, so there will be distinct value in what you're letting them know that everything is up and running all the time. You have the inexpensive price points, which enable rip and replace without penalizing the customer. You can literally help them get those new networks without charging them that much to remove the current network. And future hardware updates are a breeze because of that lifetime warranty. So these are, again, the products that we have available for you today, access points, switches, and appliances, as well as managed power. Uh, all of these are available for our current data partners that put up their hand as an NFR, also as demos. So we're at booth uh, 1013, just down that way. I'd love to talk to you more about that.